Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Naima and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make bisap juice. It's actually made of hibiscus flour and this recipe comes from West Africa and it's served during special events. So without further ado, let's get started. The ingredients you'll need are hibiscus flour, mint, sugar, vanilla sugar, anise seeds and lime first thing first I'm gonna fill a pan with water and let it boil on high heat when it's boiling I'm gonna add my hibiscus flour my mint and 4 teaspoon of anise seed and mix that all together After I'm gonna cover my pan, turn off the stove and let it cool down. So when I feel like my pan is almost cooled down, I'm gonna take my lime, get that ready and cut it in half and reserve that for later. Now in another container, I'm going to filter the piece of juice with a colander because I'm not going to use the leaves from the juice. And be careful that the juice does not pour as I did. For those who don't know, the bisap juice has hypotensive properties to fight against high blood pressure and protective properties for the heart. Also, the bisap juice has a taste similar to raspberry and rhubarb. I'm going to squeeze my half lime over the colander so that the seed do not fall into the juice. It's time to add a cup of white sugar and two bags of vanilla sugar and mix that all together. Also, don't forget to taste the juice to see if there is enough sugar, because if there is not, you can add more. For the final step, I'm going to put the bisap juice in an empty clean bottle, and for that I'm using a funnel and a small colander. So I'm using a measurement cup to fill my bottle, but you can use whatever you want to fill yours. But don't touch the piece of juice with your hands. So guys, the reason I said not to touch the piece of juice with your hands, it's simply because if you touch the juice with your hands, the juice will ferment and we don't want that.
When it's filled, I'm gonna take off my funnel and colander and close my bottle. As you can see, all the juice could not get into the bottle, so I had to use another clean bottle to put the rest of the juice. I'm going to do the same with this bottle, so I'm going to take off the funnel and the colander and close my bottle. So guys, when the bisap juice is ready, you can put the bisap in the fridge and if you want to drink right away in a glass, you can add 3 or 4 ice cubes and add the bisap juice and it's ready. So that is all guys, I hope you like this video and if you do so, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Bye!